Waterloo. It's been a minute. It's been a while. Since we got him. It was on sale. It's the only reason we <laughs> have them. That's why it's been a minute, because it has not been on sale. No, I got them at Whole Foods. Did you get this at Whole Foods also? I found this at Whole Foods too. These are who? Who? Who knew? Get back to human. Grain-free cookies. I'm human. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things, like recipe videos, and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So, I came across these in a the store. They're called Who Get Back to Human Grain Free Cookies. They have they soil it green. They have a lot of different products. They have like chips, cookies. All I know is the last time we tried a grain free cookie was those sunflower seeds. And they things. tasted like bird Link food. Link up here. Ugh. Kind of scares me when the front. Okay, it does say no added sugar. Okay. Of course, on the top it says keto friendly, and it says gluten and grain free. All right. So it says no added sugar, no cane or refined sugar, no sugar alcohol, no stevia, no erythritol, no gluten, no grains, Is there no anything in this dairy, bag? no palm oil, no lecithin, no gums, no refined starch, no tapioca, and all I could think of is, and no taste. I was gonna say- I haven't gonna, tasted it yet. You're gonna open up the bag and there's just gonna be air in it. Okay, so without looking at the nutrition, it says cookies made with 100% real no. Wait, what? That's what it says. No. No. Okay. It says growing up, cookies were life. Crunchy, chewy, big, small, cream, no cream. We devoured them. We asked for more. But we grew up. We started reading labels and the cookie options shrank. Now we're back with some cookie plans of our own. There's a new crop of clean cookies out there with a growing list of weird ingredients. Okay. We take a different approach. An insatiable hunger for the ultra symbol because your mouth was made for snacking, not struggling to pronounce what's in it. Well, oh, I agree with cute. that whole statement. Yeah, me too. Okay. That says who cookies avoids refined isolated starches. The most common refined isolated starches are those found in gluten-free baking today are tapioca starch often listed as tapioca or potato starch. Very true. Are you ready? Yeah. So is there something in the bag? I bought peanut butter flavor. Okay. They had several flavors. Can you smell? It smells like peanut butter. It does smell like peanut it, it actually smells like a chocolate peanut butter to me. They're, I can tell you now they're crunchy. They're crunchy. And I can see pieces of peanuts in there. Yeah. There, there's definitely pieces of peanuts in there. Want to dink it? Dink. Crunchy. Crunchy, yes. Almost like when you kind of burn a cookie. And I don't hate it, honestly. Right? I don't hate it. Tastes like a but burnt cookie. I don't cookie. love it. I kind of like it. Tastes like a cookie I would make. <laughs> it does taste like a little bit like a burnt cookie. Burnt cookie. I want to eat another one. I'm going to eat another one because I need to clarify the taste. All right, I'm all about it. I'm telling you, it tastes like a cookie I would make. I go like it's supposed to be soft, but it's not. I don't know not. what they're sweetening it with. You're tasting the sweetener. It's good. It's pretty good. It's crunchy. It's definitely. I would say it's more of a hint of peanut butter flavor. I'm mm -hmm. not getting an overwhelming peanut butter flavor. It tastes like a homemade peanut butter cookie that you burnt. That I burnt. Yeah, but you're making it sound bad with the burnt but it's not bad if so it's somebody different. out there that likes burnt cookies like i do comment down below do you mean burnt or over or well done there's a difference burnt is black on the bottom these don't have that charcoal taste i feel like a burnt cookie is a cookie that is intended to be softer but you like overcooked okay. it. Okay, I can get with that. Okay, you want to do five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. 
Does a keto based nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Now we did purchase these with our own money. Yeah. Um, and so they don't have a say. Of course, even when they send it to us, they don't have a say no. either. But I should just say that. So the ingredients: number one, dates. Dates. That's what you're tasting. I do not. I would not be able to identify that. Yeah, I told you it was the sweetener. I, I barren. So dates, organic coconut oil, peanut pieces from chicory root or agave plant, fiber from chicory root or agave. Okay. Uh, peanut butter, cashew flour, eggs, which is uh, range-free, certified humane, flaxseed, peanut oil, baking soda, sea salt, organic rosemary extract, which is organic rosemary and organic coconut oil. I would love to be a fly on the wall in that kitchen because how they came to mix all of those ingredients together to get this delicious flavor. I mean, there had to be a lot of trial and error. I, I'm gonna say the Dates. ingredients are really good. For keto though, there's two things that-, that We would raise, normally have. I, cashew flour, though cashews, cashews are very high in carbs. Yeah. So again, is it keto? Is it gonna knock you out of ketosis? No, but cashew is a nut that it's really, if you're gonna eat cashews on keto, that is a super treat because they are a high carb nut. They're delicious. They're delicious, but they're not a go-to nut on keto because go look at the carbs. They're, they're a lot higher in carbs for cashews. Yeah. And then you've also got the thing with dates as well. But, you know. And that's the number one ingredient. And that's obviously, all the sweetness is coming from the date. Well, I mean, There's I- no, I think nothing else in here that's sweetening. I would eat macadamia nuts, but like I can't afford to. Right. And maybe if you, I mean, can you imagine if they made it with macadamia nuts? Like it's a better keto nut, but like right. it would be three thousand dollars a bag. Well, you want to get into number two? Yeah. So number two, does it keto based, based on, on the nutrition nu label? Right. So the nutrition facts is, and I, it's like they know me. They've got the per serving. And then they also have per container because yeah, maybe you're gonna eat the whole thing. So there's actually two servings per container, which is pretty generous because there's seven cookies in a serving. I feel okay. like there's more than seven cookies yeah, in here. Yeah, it does. So um, do you wanna do per serving or per container? Just do per serving. Per serving, there's 120 calories in seven cookies. There's nine grams of fat, two grams of protein, 11 total carbs, three dietary fiber, and there's no sugar alcohol. So that makes, a serving eight total eight net carbs. But you know what? They're being honest. Right. I, I mean, I'm not even going to look at eight net carbs. I'm going to say there's eleven total carbs in a serving, and I'm okay with that because there's plenty of bars that that I've eaten that are like seventeen total carbs per right. serving, and this feels like a really nice treat to me. Okay. Yeah. So number three, how do they taste? I like them. But I like burnt cookies. If you like, if you don't, if you like, if you do not like overdone cookies, which Joe may not like overdone cookies because you usually, when you're baking something, you bake it perfectly. You don't have to eat a, a bunch of burnt stuff like you did when I would cook. So, okay, here's what I'm gonna say. How do they taste? They taste different. They don't taste like a high key cookie or- They're not as Perfect keto crunchy. cookies. Forget the crunchiness, okay? I mean, these are very crunchy, but I'm talking about flat out taste. These do not taste like any cookie you had pre-keto. They taste like Smart. a bit of a health food cookie. Oh, really? I don't find that to be true. My opinion. Taste is subjective. Yeah, it is. I think they taste good, but if you're trying to get a good old fashioned peanut butter cookie, this ain't it. It's it's just not it. But again, you have to look at the ingredients. Like yeah. you're you're not gonna get a good old fashioned peanut butter cookie without using flour. It's just so funny that like because we feel very different about this one because I'm I'm all about it. I actually think it's really good. I don't think it tastes like a health food cookie at all. It tastes like a little bit of a mistake, but not a bad one. You know, there's a lot of things that people you know. I'm okay. sure that when people discovered they could make yogurt, it was probably like, whoop, something went wrong. Right. Right? But it tastes, it's a, a happy accident. Well, let's talk about number four, and that is how much they cost. This could be the issue. I I don't remember. I want to say, I'm going to put exactly, I'm going to go find it online. And then I'm put, put it. How much I put here, but I believe I paid $5. 
Which is right in line yeah. with all of the other cookies out there. Because, High key, all of them. Because they're supposed to be two servings in a bag. Mm. So that would be about $2.50 a serving. I would be comfortable with 2 to $3 per serving. If it is more than $6 a bag, I would say no thank you. But if it is under $6 a bag, I'm good with it. Okay. So number five, would we recommend it? Now, this is going to be an interesting one. Because okay. I don't know what you're going to say, but I'm going to go first. No. Really? Why? Because you don't like dates? No, I love dates. Or I used to love dates. It's that. You're a net carb person. That is 1.2 net carbs. Oh. Net. Net carbs. 1.2 carbs. And if you are a total carb person, you're that's, closer to that's two. That's almost two carbs. Right? Almost two carbs for, for that. So here's why. Okay? I'm going to make a mess on our table. Oh, great. There you go for your total carbs for the day. Yeah. Well, there you go. not quite. Yeah. Not quite. I mean, if there's 11 total carbs. But I that's not a serving. That's more than a serving. Okay. So Do I that, need... that's that's why. So that's so you're saying no. Do they taste Okay, okay. Am I going to recommend them for somebody who is on keto? Probably not. With that being said, if you are a keto person who I think that the taste isn't bad. But if you're a keto person who can fall prey to a lot of the products that it has lots of soluble corn fiber and tapioca starch, and so you're eating products that are low in net carbs only because it's got tons of fibers added, yeah, you're better off with this. Yes, you are. You're, you're absolutely better. If you are a total carb person, mm -hmm. you are better off with this. Yes. Because you're actually going to be lower total carb. I would tell I would test my blood glucose to see how I react to dates. Dates is to me one of those yeah. iffy things. Um, so if you don't have a nut allergy, you wouldn't. I mean, you wouldn't touch a peanut butter one if you have a nut allergy anyway. Right. But so as far as keto for the average person, I'm gonna say no because most people want to follow a net carb protocol, and I think the carbs are kind of high, even at one serving. Eight net carbs for a serving is kind of high. 11 total carbs, if you're doing like 30 total carbs, okay, maybe. Then I'm going to add in the fact that it is dates and everybody's going to react to dates differently. It's got cashew flour and uh, it doesn't have like the greatest cookie taste in the world. For your kids... I would absolutely recommend this. Like when you look at no sugar, to a non-keto person, like I just don't want my kids or my grandkids to eat as much sugar. Give them this. It does have a good taste to it. Is it my turn? It's your turn. Yes, I would recommend it. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, first of all, net carbs is not a thing for me. I go total carbs because I'm not afraid of total carbs. So like total carbs, it's a dessert. I'm not gonna be eating this every day. This is not a package of bacon. This is a cookie. So I don't need to be eating this every single day. I would be comfortable with 11 total carbs as a dessert option. I get seven cookies. And um, the only thing that I could see would be a problem is if you're like me, and you burnt cookies in the past and you kind of enjoyed that. Sometimes I would use burnt cookies as an as an um like a permission slip to eat to the eat entire more. batch because it was like, well, nobody else is gonna like this cookie except for me, so I'm gonna finish it. So that's the only place that I would say okay. you might have a problem. Let me play devil's advocate then. Okay. Okay, so seven cookies, and I can get behind seven cookies, yeah. eleven carbs. Okay. Now compare that to like you said, there's a chance you're going to eat the whole bag. Yeah. Now you're eating 22 total carbs. If you eat the entire bag of something like high key, you're not even half of that. Total carbs. Yeah. Well, you know what? So that, do you, do you see where I'm going with this? I'm looking at like, if you can, if you, if you can eat two, three, or maybe seven and stop yourself, okay. But if you're like me, where you put a bag of high key cookies in front of me, I may not eat the whole bag in a sitting, but I will eat the whole bag by the end of the day. I feel right, like, and and I'm looking at maybe ten total carbs if I do that. I think this is cost prohibitive enough that you're not gonna like go crazy. This you don't isn't, know me very well, do you? <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know. I feel like we're we're definitely on different sides here. I say yes. Joe says no. So. Well, let us know down in the comment section if you've tried this. Like I said, they also have crackers. I'd be interested in even maybe checking out the, the crackers just to see what the ingredients are. Maybe dates. I, I haven't even looked at them. So uh, if you've tried these, let us know down in the comment section. I know they have several different flavors. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I have right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.